Good kitten internet. It's been a week for me. It's been a very long week. Um, I'm not doing so great in general. Oh, I'm missing the light. No wonder it looks a little dark. Oops. Can I reach light? There we go. That gives me lighting on that side of my face. Got green screen here. I've got whining kitty below me. Whining kitty did not want to be in the kitty pie. So thus, you get Maya today. Ooh, colors are really blown out on that, aren't they? Maybe if I put my hand behind Maya. Yeah, for some reason that helps. I don't know. And yeah, there's a bunch of junk on the table behind me. I need, there's a lot of, and today's going to be a cleaning day once I'm done with recording. But I have at least two episodes of Wild Arms 2 to record, so let's go ahead and record them. There we go. Ooh, I have noise a little too high. You're going to have feedback if I have it up that high. So where were we? The last thing I remember is finally getting through the uh, Liz and Ard bits. Okay. Looks like this is our most recent save at the Valeria Chateau. Meryl? You want to come up here, kitty? I'm sure the internet would like to see a good kick. I will pick you up, then. Soon, yay, soon. You can go into my lap as well, if, instead, if you'd like. Okay, what in the world was I doing? Uh, so the easiest way to find out what you were last doing is by calling. Ever jamming has rendered the communicators inoperative. Okay, I remember sort of. Uh, I last grabbed a new guardian. Oh yeah, and I should probably have the low-level guide up so I can make sure that I don't do something dumb. So, for reference, now that we're a little bit further into the game... Oh, hold on a moment. Oh, I have to turn on my trackball, that would help. Uh, now that we're a little further into the game, I'm not following the guide anywhere near as religiously as I was. Mostly because we're in areas where I'm going to have enough characters to be able to handle things. Um... We're about to enter the last, uh, one of the last critical areas. Uh, I think there's two more total. Um. <sighs> I do like the music to this game. It just repeats really fast, and that's unfortunate. There we go. Well, level Ashley guide. Over that side. Or chat up there, and there we go. All right. So I believe where we're at at this point is that we need to go to Baskar. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yep. So let's head over to Baskar. You know, the first place that we've gone to that's also in Wild Arms 1. Wild Arms 3. You actually start in Baskar, potentially. Okay. So this is where... Yeah, that's where Fenlagon's cave is. Where's Baskar? Let's go searching. Is it me or is the frame rate of the game dropping? Yeah, there's a lot of places that we can't go as a result of there not being a landing pad for this big honking ship. Oh, there's Beacon. I really like how that's just a beam. I don't remember if this is Baskar. I mean, we're at the point of the game where I don't necessarily remember much of anything anymore. 
Oh, okay, that actually is a cliff. Is there anything even here? Um, this must be for later. Yep, because I can't find Jack Squat here right now. So let's go ahead and board the chateau again. Yeah, the parallax scrolling is really wonky with the way the internal um, renderer is working. So I apologize if anybody is getting seasick from this. I know what that is. This is a live reflector, which means this is a place we've been to before. Yep, that's Holtz on its own island, which is apparently a part of um, Silverland for reasons. This over here, by the way, so we briefly saw it, that is not Arctic. So I'll leave it at that for now. This is not Arctic. We'll eventually go there, but that is not, probably not even this video. I don't remember exactly when we go to that particular land, particular land but I know it's not today. So this is the Life Reflector by Silverland, capital. Nice little waterfall. Let's go look at the waterfall. Waterfall. Anyway, uh, this might actually be Baskar. Oop. Yep, I'm gonna say that it is, given that I have a call immediately. Hidden in a forest. Oh, th oh sorry, wrong accent. Been a week. Sorry. Hidden in the forest are the guardian worshiping Baskar. Their village, Baskar Village, is so well hidden it's known as the Hidden Town. I only know that it's around here somewhere. I'm afraid you'll have to search on foot. Time for glitchiness. Okay, so that's what Lilka Glitchy looks like. And that's what... I think I'm going to go with a Lilka Glitchy. Because it really doesn't matter who I have. Well, it's not a big deal to have random battles here. Is that an owlbear? It is an owlbear. I can actually recognize things by looking at them. That's neat. I'm gonna assume that flame is what the tree is weak against. I mean, it's a tree crap thing. I mean, I'm correct. Punch. Punch an owlbear in the face. Still don't know why Loka is the only one with multiple poses. It must be just referencing um, the booty shake from Wild Arms 1. Pretty sure they're on the tip, but... Could be over here. Yep, they're on the tip. Meow. Still don't know why it's a cat meow for the sound effect. Anyway, welcome to Baskar. That me cat meow, except you can't hear it. This is my hometown. Mm, yes. The home of the Baskars heirs to the ancient tradition of worship for the Guardians. So that is correct. You'll notice that I had mentioned before that the primary religion of the world was worship of Anastasia, the Sword Magus. Which is not the primary religion of Wild Arms 1, for obvious reasons. However, the religion of Wild Arms 1 is worship of the Guardians, which is still present in Wild Arms 2. It'd be a lot easier to talk if I wasn't being interrupted by meow constantly. In some ways, you should feel happy that it, my noise-canceling setup filters out meows. In other ways, it's always nice to hear titties. There we go. Hi, Yasin. You can really see the difference in camera quality between those two cameras. Like looking at Isun's flank versus Isun's face. 
I'll move Maya if you want. You can just curl up there, Kimmy. And where you were born 12 years ago. So yes, Tim is only 12. But I don't remember it at all. My earliest memories are traveling with my mother far away from her. First, I would love to hear about Tim's birth. Why the hell is Irving caring about Tim? It's not a plot hole. You can actually, and when you're looking back on the game, like the fact that I know everything going on, I know why Irving the asshole is so concerned about Tim. It's one of those, this doesn't make any sense at the time. Let's go talk to the village chief. Feel free to wander around the village, Tim. There might be some clues somewhere. That is right. We are now controlling Tim. Ho, 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 you have done well in coming here. As you say, Tim is a child of this village. Tim is definitely the child of Sabrina, the guardian sorceress. So, Tim's mother was, in fact, a... Um, guardian sorceress. Which... Sabrina, the guardian sorceress, inspired us. She fell in love with a visiting merc and bore his child. The child was given the name of Tim and was loved by all until he was three. But then... Sabrina changed drastically when she learned that her love died from injuries sustained on a mission. Finally, Sabrina took her child and left one night. We were all overcome with grief. Sabrina... She... She died in the town of Maria. Um, we know that. Well, after that, Tim continued living there. Uh, I'm not a fan of the dead mom trope. Uh... Because it does a disservice to the game to not have such a rich character involved. I kind of know why, but... Mm. Mm. Yes, that much of the story we ourselves know as well. So if they knew that Tim was in Maria... They knew that Tim's mom had died, and they had made zero attempt at trying to get Tim back. Because they couldn't have... and they didn't find him, but they knew... Ah, I'm so confused. Why do you care so much? Did you know that, er, that Tim may become a pillar as well? How, how do you know so much? Tim is one of the few left who has the inborn ability to become a pillar. Uh, by pillar you mean literally holding the town up? No, no, the pillars embody the power of the guardians. It's plain to see that Tim has inherited this ability from Sabrina. In this village, there's also another who has the ability. You'll meet her soon. Welcome to Tim, who is level 3 because we have low-leveled Ashley. Let's go ahead and take a look at Tim's status. He has next to nothing in hit points. He is a Zoa Priest. Um, so that's Guardian Priest for reference. Um, he has a Magic Staff, a Sheik Poncho, a White Plume, and he has Odoruk as his equipped Guardian. Odoruk is actually one of the best Guardians of the game. Um, we were going to be keeping Odoruk equipped on Tim for probably a while. I want him to learn the abilities because, holy crap, those are awesome. And yes, I will get to that in a moment. Uh, Tim also has the highest sorcery stat in the game. It is not at all uncommon for Tim to reach 999 sorcery by the end of the game without any sorcery increasing items. Any at all. In exchange, his spells are weaker than Lilka's. So while Tim may do a little bit more damage than Lilka... He's not going to do the same type of damage. And I'm going to do a Let's Analyze of magic once I have all three of the mages of the game. Just so I can figure out what the real difference is between their various types of offensive magic. Anyway, 
So as I was designing, Tim in fact has three personal skills available so I can get up HP immediately. You notice how bad his HP is. It's half that of Ashley even. And these are interesting things that I'm going to explain a bit later. So his ability is extremely powerful, which is FP shift. So he loses one force level and gives his other two party members one force level. Remember before when um, I was choosing personal skills and one of the personal skills that I chose was um, on Brad, I gained a parameter, which increases your stats every time that you increase in force levels. Tim is absolutely going to be the master of a parameter because he has the ability to constantly, constantly move his force points around. Which also increases everybody else's force levels and allows him to increase force levels again. It's a loop and it's going to be a trick that's going to help us in some of the more difficult battles of the game. Having said that, I don't think we're going to need that ability for quite some time. And unfortunately, this ability is completely useless if you're by yourself. He also has Dig Out, which allows him to discover items on the battlefield. I never really used Dig Out, so I'm not entirely sure how useful that is. We'll find out. Anyway, hooray for Tim. Never forget that you're a child of this village, just as much as you're a child of Philgaia. After living the life of a tumbleweed... I guess that's an appropriate thing to phrase it as. I finally found a place to call my own. This village. You can't fill your belly or your magazine more than it'll take. You should know that, sir. So yep, that's the arms seller. Grudyev, Stoldark, Moagolt, and Fenlagon. Fengalon. Yeah. The hearts of the four lost great guardians still beat in this village. It's a good thing that I have all of them in my party. Including two from Stoadark. Oh, a little campfire. Ooh. That looks important, so I'll be back for that later. Book entitled Wedge. Unlike his fellow guardians, Blava Bill. Glava Legable does not possess the power of cognition. Unaware of anything. Sorry, it's Glave Legable. Sorry, not Glava Legable. Glave Legable fills Filgaia with life without plan or promise. Or purpose. Yeah. I can read, I swear. The legendary ancient race of Elwu have erected a shrine to Glav Glave Legable. It's gonna take me a while because. So. I think I figured out why I have so many mispronunciation things when it comes to this game, even though I definitely know that's Glaive. Um, it's because the font was so hard to read on the TV that I was playing as when I was playing growing up that I was unable to figure things out. So I kind of approximated it. So even though that's definitely Glaive, I think of it as Glava. Glaive the Gable to celebrate his existence. But this shrine, called Wedge, that pierces Glaive Legable, also controls his creation of life. Super long bookshelf that only has one book? Yeah. I always have to check those. I'll be back there a bit later. I want to walk around and talk because... So, we have a Stonehenge-like thing here. Our village isn't very prosperous. There's not much to be gained here. That's why we're depending on you. Would you like to buy things? Let's check our status reducing items. Status reducing. I, I guess that actually is the case. You have your mother's eyes. Kind of a waste of a boy. You have inherited much from Sabrina, it seems. So, kind of a waste on a boy. Mmm. Mmm, don't like that. You are a truly special boy. I could just feel it. I'm sure the Guardians will accept you as Pillar. Irving and... I'm sorry, Irving and them seem to be talking. Let's look around the village a little bit more to see if anything stirs up memories. You were three when you left. I'm not going to bother saving at this point. So, yep, let's go back and find the piece of jewelry. This is just like the one my mom had. 
Who are you? Ah! Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, who is this boy? I've never seen a boy my own age before. Maybe I should say hi? That'd be the normal thing to do. They say first impressions are important. I don't know. Who might be so nervous? Oh, oh, well, thank you. My name is Tim. What's your name? See, while you're busy worrying what to say, he said something first. Just be a little braver. I didn't even get to name her. Oh, nice to meet you. Ah! Huh. That light, you, you... Why are you and the mediums calling each other? That doesn't make any sense. That's because Colette is a pillar, just like you, Tim. I'm glad that you have finally come home, Tim. So, we've met the second pillar. It's Colette. Uh, what's the power of the mediums? They become a medium through which the Guardian's power materializes. Possessing this nature and ability of the pillar is necessary to bring this about. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Tim currently doesn't have a tool. But you call Tim an heir. What does that mean? I'm sorry, you call Tim an heir. What does that mean? That's right, Tim is not yet a pillar. In order to fully realize its potential as a pillar, he must undergo the trial. Undergo a trial to become the pillar? I can't do that. Not me. I'm a street rat. Is the trial dangerous? So, keep in mind... This is, some, uh, this is the type of thing that I like bringing to my Let's Plays, especially since I know a lot of the story. Remember where Lilka started at in the Millennium Puzzle? The Millennium Puzzle is a trial of sorts for Lilka, and things went horribly wrong in the Millennium Puzzle. And we're going to find out a little bit more detail about it a bit later, but they went horribly wrong. Lilka has a rather tragic backstory. It's just completely hidden because she's trying to make a have a cheerful image in front of her. I know a lot of people like that, and I'm one of them. Uh, not that my backstory is tragic or anything, just the in general... Oh, wow. Am I dropping frames? No? It's just... The audio mixer was going really slow for a while there, and I don't know why. Hmm. There are many trial monsters in the trial arena, or many trials in the monster arena. Actually, that is the case. Hmm. Also... If it happens that Tim isn't fit to be the pillar, then he won't be able to contain the power. Uh, if that happens, he's... um... not gonna live. So Tim will... Does he truly need to ask so much of one so young? And you, Ashley's 19, he's only 7 years older than Tim, but that's a pretty large age gap between 12 and 19. Maybe if he receives more training first, he'll have a better chance. I mean, he's only level 3 like me. Like, normal Ashley at this point in the game is, like, 15-ish. Or is there a reason why Tim must become a pillar immediately? Ashley's not dumb. So, you'll notice that while Brad is being the silent protagonist as usual, um, Lilka and Ashley have already figured out what's going on, for reference. At least of this part. They definitely don't know what's going on overall. Um, they've already figured out that Tim is somebody the town's trying to force into a role. The moment he arrived, it's like, Oh, you're back! You need to become the pillar right now. Oh, the village dream seer saw a dream. It is a dream seer. You would expect a dream seer to see a dream. The dream seer is an oracle. He sees the will of the guardians in the form of dreams. The vision he had was one of the sky being gnawed away. We don't know yet if this was a good or an ill omen. It might be too late when we find out though. So we would like we would behoove us so it would behoove us to wake awaken the pillar now. The danger might be so great that our only salvation would be the power of the guardians. The sky being eaten away. What if that could be Odessa? Well, it's too early right now to know anything for certain. There's too much we don't know about events that are too important. 
In order to be realize their potential as pillar, they must desire it. For they must open their hearts to the Guardians. We cannot force it on anybody. It all depends on the will of Tim himself. Just staring at Tim. Everyone stares. Yeah, because trying to force a 12-year-old to do something like this sounds like a brilliant idea. But I can't. Uh, there's no other choice then. Colette must become a pillar as originally planned. Colette doesn't make as good of a pillar as Tim because sexism. There's no other way. We must secure the power of the Guardians. But if Colette's not favored by the Guardians... Well, then Colette's gonna die. Ah, mm, mm. It's okay, I'll do it. I'll become the heir. I'll take the trial instead of Colette. This is... Mm. There's reasons. And you'll notice that I'm not blaming the game when I'm getting upset about this. There's reasons. They actually do have a reason for this. Tim. Well, this is not a spur of the moment decision. Are you sure? Well, the surest way for me is to take the trial, right? Also, I don't put Colette in danger. We've spoken like 15 words together at most, and I like her. There's something I have to do to get the power of the Guardians, and I have to do it now. You've all protected me enough. Now it's my turn. You have no idea how happy that makes me to finally find my place in things. I wonder why in the world my Guardian just makes me go peek. This is my hometown, right? I can stay here if I become Pillar, right? Remember, Tim is basically a homeless kid. He doesn't have a place to live in Mariable. We didn't ever find his house or anything. So he's living on the streets. And while, yes, Tim has his friends of Tony Stark and Scott Summers, but that's it. And now he's found, one, the fact that he likes girls, and two, the fact that he actually does have a place that he belongs and is supposed to live. This would give him a hope. Brad has just now figured out what's going on. Well, if that's what I have chosen, that no one can go then no one can go against it. Is there anything we can do to help Tim out? At the depths of the trial arena is a shrine to the guardians. Normally only those who are heirs are allowed inside the walls, but anyone can go as far as the point of entry without fear. I ask you this favor. Please protect the heir of, to the pillar. Mm, would it be permitted? Well, in that case, I will make it official order. Arms must do everything in its power to protect Tim, the heir to the pillar. We can either we can expect either Odessa or monsters to attack. We will be ready. Remember, Irving's still an asshole. Understood. Well, now we have nothing to worry about, I guess. In that case, please rest for today. Tomorrow, when everything is ready, I will show you to the trial arena. We are sleeping, which means forgetfulness will be removed off of Ashley. So, the moment we take control, we're going to be going back to Silverland Castle to... Also, achievement unlocked. Tim Rhymeless. Um, we will be going back to Silverland Castle... Ah, dang it, brain. There we go. We'll be going to Silverland Castle to make sure we um, throw forgetfulness onto Ashley. Actually, yes. That's right. We're actually going to have to do that. Yep, like so. Okay. You don't need Still Dark anymore. You're getting Grudyev. All right, so we need to go to, we have a couple of things that we need to do. 
Um, first off, we have an arms person here. Okay, we are actually full. Good. Let's go ahead and save, because this is a point where we might accidentally level up Ashley, and that's not allowed. We're going to be running from every fight until we actually get to back to Silverland, so we can actually can put um, Ashley under a spell again. Uh, the forgetfulness, there we go. I forgot. Hmm. Alright, we are at half an hour. Got it. I've been given the duty of showing you the way of the trial arena. The entrance to the trial arena is hidden in the middle of the forest, south of the village. There's no identifying mark, so be careful not to miss it. Colette's with us as well. Don't worry, we'll miss it because we're leaving. Because forget this place. Alright, let's go back to Silverland Castle, which I believe is over here? No. That's the... Yeah. That's back at Maria. Which, admittedly, I can also hit Maria right now. That's not a bad idea. Oh, I really wish I had, like, little blinking things to let me know where the landing spots are. This is not the right area at all. This is actually where we had... And this is Tabak Village, for reference. That's actually what that is. This is Silverland Castle. Okay. Just need to find a landing place around here. There isn't one, is there? Nope. In that case, we need to go to Maria Bull. Really wish I had a real world map. Yeah, Tim has no tools. Definitely not here. Really tall plateau, barely clearing the edge. This doesn't look like a friendly place, that's for sure. Some more small islands, and this is Mary over here. Because that's, um, Demson City. There is the Chateau Landing Point, which has now basically collapsed, which I find funny. Ah, mm. By the way, this is very touchy. Our average party level is much lower than it was before, now that we have a second, third level party member. But the very first thing I'm going to do is get some personal skills. Boom, do, do, do. Ta, 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 ta. 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 What do I have on my crust crap right now? Okay, good. That's actually what I want. Luckily, it's not too far to reach here, but unfortunately, I have to go through Live Reflector. And I'm going to be canceling out combat until I get to Silverland. Luckily, enemies around here are, like, level 2. Hello again, Live Reflector. Uh, we want to go to Silverland Castle, which is green control. Fast forward a bit. Boink, 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 bonk. Yeah, that globe is definitely, like, that side was North America. 
This is definitely not Earth. This is Filgaia. And yes, the map of Filgaia does not match from game to game. All right. I save stated right before for a reason. What we need to find is a man trap so I can get Fencer on Ashley, because Ashley should be taking next to nothing in damage that way. Amnesia on Brad, don't care. I can cure it on everybody else. You're just hitting Brad. Cool. Please don't die. Seriously? Oh yeah, sleep, great. Okay, sleep and confuse, that's fine. Actually. Ashley, you're just going in the back row now. I'm actually fine with Brad just not taking any, and gaining any XP from this combat. I'll cure it after. 100 XP, 300 Gela, two toy hammers. Alright, so, now that we have that, um, we're going to use toy hammer to remove Brad's forgetfulness. Tim is going to stay in the back row until we level him up a little bit more. So, for reference, when we actually see the amount of XP given, that's how much we are receiving. So that alone brought him two thirds of the way to leveling again. So what we need to do is that we need to grind up to level nine. Um, so I'm going to be fighting enemies around Holtz. That's actually what the low level guides recommending. I'm guessing it's due to it being easier, and Holst actually having personal skill shop. Holst doesn't have a personal skill shop. The heck am I saying? Oh. Anyway. Ah, crap. Maybe that's going to be enough to kill the assassin bugs. That would be nice. Nice. All right, we... Yep, Tim hit two levels from that one. We're going to have to be careful. We don't want him to level up to level seven. We want him to hit six. So how much XP does he need to hit? Yeah, he already has about as much. And two levels higher, and Tim is just barely hitting Ashley's hit points. Tim is the lowest hit point character in the game, by the way. Um, normally. Also, his luck's now worst for some reason. Uh, he needs 160 more XP to level. Yeah, he's probably going to be fine. So the reason, I think, why they wanted me near Holst is that relatively high level enemies and I can reload arms quickly and easily. I surprised them. That's convenient. Rick Gob. Rick Job. You know what? We're bringing Tim into this. Because we surprised them, which means that we definitely have a round of combat without any worries. We can pineapple them. That should be fine. Loka, go ahead and cast... I don't, know. I don't think it matters. Spark. Tim, you can't do anything right now. But you can dig. Find out if there's any... What dig out actually does. So I'm not actually sure. Pineapple. Ooh, bonk. Oh, I didn't get a chance to dig out. 
Brad 19, Tim 8. Damn it. Nope. That's too much XP. He leveled up too many times. He leveled up three times. What the hell? I wonder if they get less XP if they're in the back. Why am I going into halts? I don't know. You refill arms? I decided to refill because I was already here. I don't know why my brain decided to come in here. Maybe it was to reload, uh, reset the randomization. Okay, three gobs is too much XP for Tim, at least if Tim's in the front. All right, let's find out if it's too much XP for Tim in the back as well. Did you just shoot me? Holy crap, that actually did a lot of damage. Buy an apple. Yeah, it's the same amount of XP. Nope. Okay. Holst may not be the greatest spot for us to hit until we hit six. So we're going to waste some more teleport gems and teleport to helmets. We're not too far off of hitting six, so that should be fine. I remember that Loka is actually strong enough to boop one of them. Punch. Buried alive! I took one. <laughs> Hammer. Tim did not level from that, but that's fine. He'll level from the next one. It's Tim's... Yeah, he needs 10 more XP. Once I do this, then I can go back to the other area. And that should work. Boop. Punch. Very alive. Two. Ooh, it did double the damage last time. Mm, can't let that happen. Punch. Or sorry, that's a boop, not a punch. All right, Tim hit six. So now we can spend those personal skills. Personal skills is the first one, okay. Power up with personal skills! Up HP, there we go. Also, Tim is now at 157 maximum hit points. I've never seen what Tim is like with maximum possible hit points because, like I said, usually Ashley's more like level 15 by the time I'm here. Also, I was really curious about something. I'm gonna save state and check. What can I actually do at Golgotha? Nothing. Cool. We're leaving. Alright. So, we're going to teleport back. Holst. I'm using up so many teleport gems, that's fine. I can buy more. They only cost 100 each, and I'm gaining more than that per battle right now. Alright, now we're going to get him to level 9. What the hell are you? Basilisk. Cool, you're probably going to inflict paralysis, aren't you? Buy an apple. Uh, I'm going to guess Spark. Ooh, they're fast too. That's a problem. 
but you missed. Zap. Normal damage, okay. Bye, Apple. Tim's hit eight. Usually, the softeners require a prescription. Although, some could probably be available over the counter. Anyway, um, how is Tim doing on XP? He needs 210 more. As long as we don't level up twice, we're fine. Which is why I'm save stating. Okay, so Gash is a magical attack, and that was a crossbow, I just noticed. Break. Bonk, 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 bonk. Does the same amount of damage as Brad punching. Should have targeted the same one. Oh well. Vortex. We'll try Vortex. Combination form. Ow. These things hit hard. Normal damage. Okay. Timmy reached level 9. Good. That's what we wanted to see. Now, we are teleporting. To Maria. For two reasons. One, we want to update his personal skills. Now that he's at level 9, he can get the last HP up. And we don't have to worry about it. And two, we want battles. We don't want X we don't necessarily need XP, we want random battles. We're gonna be teaching him a lot of things. So the way Tim and gains magic is by being in combat while having guardians equipped. The very first thing that we want Tim to learn. You'll notice when we went over to Tim's status and saw his list of guardian lore. We want him to learn first aid. It is the best spell in the game. There's no exception. First aid is an area of effect healing spell that goes on a much faster initiative than normal. First aid doesn't technically go first. It just boosts your initiative by a huge amount. So if Tim was really low level compared to what we were fighting, we were fighting something that was very fast, Tim wouldn't necessarily go first. But otherwise, yeah, no, we're going to be learning first aid. Uh, it's going to take five battles to learn first aid. I believe that's what that's referring to. Um, Turn Undead is the second one of those. Turn Undead is an instant death attack against Undead that works 100% of the time. I'll repeat that. That's an instant death attack that works 100% of the time. There's no reason not to use it unless if you can kill all the enemies in one hit without using it, basically. Um, so it's only single target, so... Anyway, we want to get in some battles around here. Oh yeah, we need to actually put Tim in the party. Keep hitting start instead. Formation, Tim, you are now here. Because these are a little enough level where Tim's not going to get seriously harmed by things. Balloons! Yes, the exact type of enemies that I was looking for. Luka is going to heal Tim. That's right, Tim has to kill enemies. So, Brad is going to be defending. Luka will heal Tim. Tim is going to hit a balloon. Oh, that's right. We can pickpocket while we're here. That's what Brad should be doing. Luka is going to just continue healing people. Tim is going to bonk. Pickpocket. 
because they have heal berries. And we used up a huge number of healing items. Asexual reproduction! Sweet, more things for me to pickpocket. There may be a reason why I chose Maria. And not just because the guide recommended it, but also because I knew balloons did this. Go ahead and heal. Uh, Tim, go bonk that one. Oh, I should have bonked the other one because that's the one I'm pickpocketing. Oh, well, too late. Bonk. That's fine. We have more of them. And yes, they will infinitely spawn. We only need five for this particular one, but you know, if we get 16, I think it was for Turn Undead, I'm not going to mind. Pickpocket that one. Loka can just now defend, I guess. Yeah, Loka can defend. Tim, you can bonk that one. Bonk. Oh, it didn't bonk this time. It still did zero to my lowest defending character of the party. That's fine. Just go ahead and bonk the last balloon. That's five. That's what we needed. First aid has been learned. Which means Tim is now officially the best character in the game. <coughs> um, yeah, let's have him learn Moa Galt. Rinse, repeat. So, for reference... See? It says that I have zero remaining battles. Uh, ten more battles for rest, uh, return un ah, turn undead, not return undead. All of the rest of these have level one and level two magic. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be learning all of level ones and at least one of the level twos. So this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording here. And I'll unpause it when I'm done. See you in a moment, internet, once I actually have a working mouse. There we go. Bye. And I'm back. I decided to go back to the Holst area to grind, and I ended up with this encounter and wanted to talk about it. Because I'm, this is generally the end of the video anyway, because I'm not going to start the hidden trial until next video, since, well, it's already 52 minutes in, or 53. Um, This thing's big. I actually don't remember it. So I've gained a lot of heal berries as a result of what I've done. Uh, Mystic heal berry is not the worst idea. Tim also has some magic. He's got first aid, which, oh, that's right, I forgot. I don't need to Mystic heal berry ever again because first aid exists. Uh, in that case, you're going to, mm, let's see, it used a wind attack on me on the surprise round. Um. Usually that means break. Tim is going to first aid, and I get to show you what first aid looks like. First aid. Whee! Healing for everybody. Ooh, it's fast, too. Break! Bonk, 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 bonk. Yep, that's red. It's still alive, though. Which means it's getting locked on. Blink. Bazooka. Bonk. Anti-tank missiles. Yep, thought that would kill it. 230 XP, that's it, really? Oh, so, um, previous battle I fought an assassin bug and Luka got knocked unconscious. Notice she had swirly eyes when she was knocked unconscious. I thought that was a nice touch. Anyway, um, like I said, I was just going to level up slightly more. I was hoping to hit 10. Hoping for that all gob battle, but that's not happening. Why did I go back into Holst again? I keep doing that. I don't need to go into Holst. 
Um, by the way, the um, dig command basically gives you a random low-level item. Uh, I got a bullet clip and like some status effect removal items, and that's about it. Ah, crap, I was surprised. I should have thrown Tim out of the party. Tim's gonna die. He's level 9, the rest of the party is level 19. Paralyzed is fine. Paralyzed is perfectly fine, actually. Uh, Tim, please escape the party while you can. You only have 300 hit points, and the next lowest is 1,500. Um, punch, cock, try. Mm. Break, cock, try. Bonk, 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 bonk. Punch. So yeah, um, at the time that I'm recording this, there's one episode that hasn't been released yet that'll be on Monday, so this one will be on Wednesday, at least assuming that I can actually do things according to plan for once. Um, then Friday, and then I'm gonna go back to my break in schedule. I don't know. So I, I need to record a regular video today as well, because there's some updates that I need to do. Um, yeah, I need to figure out what in the world I'm going to be doing from now on, because this is gonna get complicated. So I want to actually do a bunch of videos this month, uh, not in a Vita Vito style thing, because I already knew that that wasn't going to happen. There we go, Tim hit 10, that helps. So how much, how many hit points does Tim get in one level up? He gained 65 hit points in one level. He's really slow at hit point growth. He's still half the level of the rest of my party. But that will have to do. Um, anyway, let's go back in the holst. This time I'm doing it intentionally. Get my um, ammo back. And that's probably about it. Oh, Tim's still paralyzed. <laughs> That was softener? No, that's petrification. It's pixie dust. It's not paralyzed anymore. Guess paralysis is battle only? Hmm. And I still only have two levels on the others, right? Yeah. Okay. We will leave that here. Um, I'll teleport back and... Actually, no. I'm going to find the save point, which is here. Hello, memory service. And I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Just let me decide how I'm going to do the real video today. Bye, Internet!